Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and welcome back to episode number 9 of my Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time we left off and got our third gym badge defeating the gym leader Kabu, and today we're going to make our way over to the city of Hammerlock. But to get there, once again, we have to go through the wild area, which is always so much fun whenever we do it in the randomizer because the Pokemon there are crazy. We found the Armored Mewtwo, we found Melmetal, and we even found a Soul Galio that teleported away from me. Yes, I'm still upset about that all these episodes later. Also, I believe we're going to be able to find the Water Stone to evolve Ginny, so that's that should be really good. I'm so excited to have a Ludicolo, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Alright, let's leave this gym and get started with today's adventure. Okay, looks like we're trying to run our way over to the wild area immediately. I hope the game doesn't make us go there right away. There are a few things that I want to do before we jump there. Oh, and look, Kabu's coming out. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make it a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Aw, that's so nice. We've got the whole squad over here. They run all the way from their cities over here to wish us good luck. And Kabu has a little song for us too. Hustle, hustle, hop! You can do it! You can do it, Pokey Tips! The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe you will prevail. Believe in your Pokémon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Pokétips, let's head for Hammerlock. I don't know, before I explore this new area, I want to run back to a Pokémon Center very, very quickly. Okay, first things first, a lot of people in the comments told me to buy Poké Dolls so I could use these to escape from wild Pokémon battles instead of losing a Pokémon accidentally, so I think I'll buy like nine of those just so we're set there. But the last thing I wanted to do over here was actually go to the Move Relearner, because I think now that Moody evolved, Moody can get some pretty cool moves. Let's check it out. Yeah, I think I'll give Moody Venoshock over Acid. It's a little bit stronger, so I think it's worth it. Also, wait to release this wishy-washy, since technically it wasn't my encounter. I just caught it for the gym challenge. All right, now we're all set to go to the wild area. All right, here we go. We're back in the wild area. Now, normally, when I go through the wild area, I only allow myself to catch a Pokemon every two gym badges. However, since the game is making us go through here right now, I am going to allow myself to catch a Pokemon, I guess, in the North Lake Mylock over here, since it wouldn't be fun having to go through the wild area but not being able to catch anything. So I'll make a one-time exception where whatever I find in that area, I'll allow myself to catch, but anything else, I'll have to wait until my next gym badge. So we're going to swap and use Moody to weaken the Pokemon here, and let's get going. I think the North Lake Mylock should just be dead ahead over there. That Noctowl definitely does not count. That's in an area I've already caught something. So let's go ahead and check out and see what pops up first over here. Oh my god, look at that Cinderace! This is not gonna be it. This is gonna be a strong one, right? Oh, yes! Yes, we can catch this thing? Look at that! First off, that looks super cool. Second, it's a Cinderace. I am so down. That is an awesome encounter. Let's go ahead and try to catch this thing. I did not think we'd be able to catch it. I'm so excited if you guys can't tell. Oh, I love Score Bunny. This is great. This is really, really good. So let's go turn one. We'll go for Nuzzle. Try to get that Paralysis on it. Make it a little easier to catch. Quick Attack does so much damage. Wow. Huh. All right. Oh, hail. Yes, I gotta keep that in mind right now. That's gonna get annoying. That means I could try weakening this thing a little bit more, but it might be a little risky. So let's see if we just get lucky. We'll go for this Great Ball over here. I think that blue Cinderace coming out of a blue Great Ball would be incredible. So let's see if we can just catch it. We already have two shakes. We already have three shakes. And we got him. We got Cinderace. Oh, that's so cool. So I'm gonna go with like a sporty name for this Pokemon. I know there was this girl Cho Chang that Harry Potter had a crush on that played Quidditch, so I think I'm gonna name this sporty Cinderace after Cho Chang. Now I absolutely want to use this Cinderace. That looks so cool and I love Cinderace, so let's go ahead and put away Cedric for now. Bye bye buddy, and let's bring this blue Cinderace on the team. Now let's see, I don't think the typing is going to be different at all, I think it's just a pure fire type. Let's check out Cho though, wow, Cho is so cool. Quick attack, double kick, flame charge, and agility. We'll definitely have to see if there's anything good that she can learn from the movie learner later on. Now let's see, what else was out here that we didn't quite catch? 
Uh, your mask. All right, that's kind of cool. I'm okay with missing that. Looks like we have a gloom over there. Another soul galio. Hello, buddy. Welcome back. So we had a second chance at redem. Wow, two soul galios over there. We had a second chance at catching one of those, and now all the other Pokemon are popping up. But you know what? We didn't want you anyway. And wow, I have never seen that many Super Nebbies in one place. What is that? Is that five Soul Galios just walking around me? Uh, there's like a horde of Soul Galios. This is crazy. We gotta get a picture right here. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's keep going on. Now, the annoying part about moving forward in the wild area is I'm not gonna allow myself to catch any more Pokemon yet. We have to get a few more gym badges before we get here. It looks like that Snorlax that usually pops up in this area is randomized into a Glalie. How cool. What other Pokemon are we gonna see here? Driftblim, Dusclops, Pancham. What a cute little panda. Love that thing. Another Necrozma. Oh, rest in peace, Voldemort. I miss you so much. Now to the bridge field. Ooh, wow. Look at these Pokemon. That's really cool. And I think, I think, well, I didn't want to check you out. See, that thing would do a lot of damage if we couldn't run away from it. So we're going to use this Poke Doll and get out of here right away. Bye bye. But what I wanted to look at over here is I think this is a pink Rhyhorn? All right, we're seeing all the weird colored Pokemon today. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, I guess it's a guy. Well, he's so cute. I love him. I would love to catch you and protect you, but unfortunately not right now. I don't want to catch a billion Pokemon and then not be able to catch any later on. Oh, and there's just a regular Rhyhorn. That's kind of weird. So some of them are pink and some of them are regular colored. I don't think the pink ones are the shinies though. Otherwise we'd see that special shiny color. All right, let's see. Going forward, still more of the same Pokemon over there. Kind of why? Oh my gosh, is that Celebi? Celebi in the wild area too! I think that's the first time we're seeing a Celebi in this randomizer. How cool is that? Celebi comes out in the harsh sunlight. Man, I'm really starting to regret this right now. I wish I let myself get an encounter here. Oh well, let's get away from this thing. Oh wow, we really have to use those Poke Dolls. Who knows, maybe when we come back to the wild area later, we'll have another chance at catching Celebi. I don't know. It seems like there's quite a few of them in the grass there. Is that a surfing, flying Alolan Raichu? <laughs> that is so cool! This is so cool! This is like the third time we've come to the wild area, but every time we come here, it is so much fun. You really have no clue what you're gonna see in this place. It's so amazing every single time. I thought that was a shiny Celebi over there. It looked pink for a second. Feebas everywhere. You're not a Pokemon. Oh, lots of Snorlax, Delmize. Oh, that's a Cramorant with a Pikachu in its mouth. I didn't know they could pop up in the overworld like that. I'm not sure if that's a randomizer thing or if they could just like naturally spawn with the Pikachu in their mouth, but oh, that looks pretty painful. I hope you're okay, Pikachu. Now here's something that should happen. If you catch a Cramorant that has a Pikachu in its mouth, it should give you both the Pikachu and the Cramorant. It's only fair. Wow, that was really, really interesting. We saw Sol Galio, we caught that amazing Cinderace Cho, and we also saw Celebi in the Galar region too. <laughs> that was great. I can't wait until we come back here soon and we can actually catch some more Pokemon. But anyway, let's make our way over to Hammerlock. We couldn't really get a good view of it over there because of the snow. But from what I remember, Hammerlock is a really, really nice looking city. Oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> I love how it just mysteriously and instantly changed from nighttime to daytime. And it stopped snowing too. Whatever, that's how weather works in the Galar region. Alright, anyway, let's go to the Pokemon Center before we do anything crazy here. Let's see if we can learn anything good with Cho. Alright, Cho, what can you remember? Pyro Ball! We get that right away? Okay, let's do it! Let's make that happen! And that's about it for useful moves. I can't believe we get Pyro Ball right away. I mean, it does make sense. It gets it when it evolves from Raboot, but still, find that kind of cool. And now we could buy Dust Balls and Dive Balls and all these things too. That's actually really good. I think I'll pick up three more Dust Balls because those are always extremely useful. All right, let's check out and see what's going on here. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both Wishing Stars and Gym Badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you, right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. 
and will need more than just wishing stars, we need a powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. I hope you are listening, Poketips. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokémon into giants, though. They hold more energy than that. Our lives and society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Olina decides to give me another earful. Pokétips, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. Oh, hey, it's Leon. I haven't seen you in a while. Pokétips, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But hop. Did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle. Blast, and look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. <laughs> Speaking of lost, I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to go over here. There's a barber shop back there. What's in this item over here? Hyper potions. That's actually really good. I'm very glad I stopped to interact with that. Guess we gotta talk to this guy over here. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Ah, right, Poketips. And if Leon himself realized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. Well, I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? I guess these are the treasures, these old paintings? Brilliant, aren't they? It's great there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us all of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youth, I cannot say that word, youth, 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 youth. Anyway, the younger people looking on at a sword and a shield that stopped the disaster. And I guess now, oh wait, they're youth still? These guys do not look young to me. They look like they're at least in their 30s there, I don't know. Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? Uh, the fact that they're not young. Bang on! The statue in the hotel in Motostoke only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. It's starting to not even sound like a word anymore. Youth, 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 youth. Aw, thank you for the revives I can't use once again. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Gala region's past. I suppose if we got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stoan side. Alright, well that sounds like a plan. I can't wait to go on Route 6, I think we'll get another new Pokémon there. And one of my favorite things about this game is how the people always are waving you on on your adventure. It's like the whole Galar region wants to see you succeed, I love that. Alright, so if I think if I remember correctly, we're gonna have to battle Team Yell again over here. Now, I'm not sure what their levels are going to be, but I do feel like we should try out Cho. We just got Cho, she's only level 28, and actually hang on a second, I think I totally missed the Water Stone that I mentioned in the beginning of the episode back in the wild area. Let me make a quick trip over there, I believe there's one in there. There we go, there's the water stone. I totally forgot to grab this water stone when we went through here the first time. I got so excited seeing all the crazy Pokemon that it just slipped my mind. This is it, second time we're evolving a Pokemon in the randomizer. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, and the moves that it can relearn are broken. Oh, I am glad I went back and got that water stone. <laughs> I'm going to be excited to use this Ludicolo. All right. So like I was saying the first time I was here, I believe we have to fight Team Yell over here. Am I right? Am I right? Yep, there they are. What are you guys doing with that silly cobra over there? It's just trying to sleep. What a cute silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure silly cobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. If I promise not to wake the Pokémon, will you let me through? Of course, it would be our pleasure. Wait, so she could just walk through willy-nilly, 
But me, oh, I'm a problem. What if I just walk through? What about Hop? Can Hop walk through? No, I guess not. I guess the solution to that is jumping into a Pokemon battle, which surely is going to be a lot quieter than just walking past these guys. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't really think Team Yell was thinking that one through. But they have a Cinderace. No, they do not. Oh my gosh. Are we about to do Cinderace versus Cinderace? Well, mine is better. Hopefully. Right? Or maybe not. Theirs is level 31, mine is level 28. And we're playing in the sun. First off, it's looking like we're underleveled. I don't know how that happened. We just went through a town. We should be fine. But whatever. Now, the second off, <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to swap out here, even though we only have not very effective moves. If we're fighting in the sun here, the, its fire moves are going to be stronger. So let's go for Pyroball. It's going for a submission. Oh my gosh, no, it's not. It's the hidden ability one. No, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. We need Pyro Ball to hit right now. Come on, Cinderace. Come on, Show. Do some damage here. I know it's resisted. Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! Nice job, Show. Wow, way to make an impression in your first battle. Way to go, Cho! Bellatrix wants Slash? I don't think so. I don't need- I don't think we need Slash. And Orbeetle. Oh, this is it. This is where it's getting tough. Is that a shiny Orbeetle? That looks so cool. Wow, did I miss something? Where did the- why did the levels just get boosted up insanely high? Alright, I'm kind of scared of this thing. I'm not 100% sure what the right move to make here is. I can either swap into Neville or try healing up Cho. Let's see what healing up Cho is like. I really don't want to lose Cho. We just got Cho. And after this battle, I'm definitely going to do some training because I didn't realize we were so underleveled. Volt Tackle! Volt Tackle! Hey, oh, what? This Orbeetle is secretly a Pikachu. Uh, if it wants to do that again, that's all right, I think. Let's go for the Pyro Ball. Please don't do something different. Oh, we're faster? This should kill it. This should knock it out no matter what. We should be great here. Yes! That sun-boosted Pyro Ball hits the spot right there. Great job, Cho. Cho is a powerhouse, and we literally just got her. Blimey, even your battles are too noisy. Wait, did Hop just lose to Team Yell? Why is Hop looking down like that? Are you okay, buddy? Oh, I feel so bad for this guy. Ooh, Sandaconda! Well, no wonder they want to protect the Silly Cobra. They have the Evolve form. And as much as I want to use Cho, we definitely need to swap out here against the Sandaconda. Alright, I'm thinking the move here, the play, the pro play, is to bring out our brand new Ludicolo, Ginny. So come on out, Ginny. And Drill Run. I thought I saw a Horn Drill for a split second. Nope, I'm just very, very scared of one-hit KO moves. So Giga Drain should be great here. Hydro Pump would do more damage normally, but we're in the sun, so it's going to do less damage and Sand Attack. Watch me start missing a whole bunch now. Also, I probably should have went for Fake Out, but it's okay. It doesn't matter that much, right? Fake Out probably would not have done enough damage there to actually turn that into a KO, so we're good. One more Giga Drain and that thing should be out of here. Destiny- No! No! No, Ginny, no! We just got you! No, miss! No! No! That's so unfair! That is so unfair! That is so unfair! Oh, no, Ginny! You did nothing wrong there! Oh, Ginny, why? You just evolved. We bent back and got the water stone for you. Not like that. Oh, rest in peace, Ginny. Rest in peace, Ginny. I think we'll bring out Bellatrix here against this little thing. Is that another shiny? No, that's the normal one. Wow, that is just plain awful. Ugh, again, we are five levels lower than our opponent right now, but I think we should be okay. First impression is gonna go first. If it does a lot of damage, we get the swap out, but first impression does a lot. Fishius Rend! Okay, Dracovish. Fishius Rend from this thing. I never thought I would see the day where this has Fishius Rend. Right, I think we should be able to finish it now with the Sucker Punch. Get him, Bellatrix. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Wow. That was the most unfair death we've encountered this whole entire run. Destiny Bonds. Ugh, there was really no way we could have gotten around that. So we could have gone for Fake Out first turn, and maybe it would have done enough damage. I don't think it would have done enough damage. Fake Out just doesn't do a lot in general.
Ugh. Wow. <laughs> I was so excited to have a Ludicolo. I loved Ludicolo ever since I first used it in my Pokemon Emerald version, and I fell in love with it even more when I played Pokemon XD. But now... The one time I finally got one in a randomizer, just like that. Gone. Well, Silly Cobra, I hope you're happy. Slither away, you. Well, before we even explore Route 6, we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye to Ginny. Gone way too soon, my friends. Rest in peace. I kind of want to use Aragog, but Aragog is the exact same type as Bellatrix, so I think for now, no. You know what? We can use a little bit of Fairy type. Let's bring Myrtle onto the team. And now let's absolutely do some training. I'll be back. Alright, my friends, we are back. We are all trained up right now. I brought most of my Pokemon up to at least level 33, because seeing those level 33 Pokemon were kind of scaring me. Also, if I look any different right now, it's because a day did go by. I kind of fell asleep after I trained up my Pokemon, but we're just going to pretend it's the same day and keep on going. So, Route 6, right past here, I believe we get a new encounter. So let's see what our next teammates, or we could battle you. I was all ready to jump in and be like, okay, let's go catch a new Pokemon. But I guess we have to fight against Beauty Anita first. Why do you gotta get in the way like that, Anita? All right, she's a Noivern. Oh, wow. So I think this is it, guys. Now that they're using high-level Pokemon, we're not gonna see any more of that baby stuff. It's gonna be all strong Pokemon from here on out. I don't really want to stay in here with Cho. I mean, I can. I can. Why not? We'll do a little bit with Cho. Again, even though it's resisted, this whole route has the sun. So our fire moves do more damage than they would normally do anyway. I feel like we could do a decent chunk to this Noivern. Yeah, just like that. And we get the burn too. I had a feeling we were going to get that. So now what are you going to do? Vital throw? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Cho is a powerhouse. I am so glad that we caught Cho. If Cho ever dies, I'm going to be more upset than I have about any other Pokemon other than, you know, maybe Ginny. Losing Ginny, that was just... Ugh. That's going to be another one that just sticks around for a long time, and I'm not going to forget about it. Now, your second Pokemon is a Quagsire. All right, I usually don't mind staying in, but against old Quaggy, I think we might be wise to bring out Bellatrix here. Again, I like bringing out Bellatrix, because if, it, if her health goes low, her ability swaps her out. So we should be fine. Ooh, Bone Rush. We've got Marowak Quagsire here. How many times is that going to hit us? Please stop now. Or it could stop now. Three's not too bad. There we go. There we go. I don't really think this first impression is going to do a lot of damage, but it's a strong move, so let's see. Not bad. Not bad. Fire Pledge. Okay, good. I forgot. We're actually part water type, so we don't really care that much about Fire Pledge. Still kind of wacky from a Quagsire. And I guess we'll finish it off here with Bug Bite. Whatever. Oh, it's faster than us. Really? I didn't think a Quagsire would be faster than me. Well, that was kind of a waste of a turn there. But since we have the option, I guess I'll bring out Goyle here. So it has Fire Pledge, Fire Moves, and it has Bone Rush, that Stab Ground move. I think, hopefully we can get lucky and just put it to sleep with Hypnosis. That would make things very easy for us. But we're missing, and you're gonna go for Fire Pledge. How much is that gonna do to Goyle? <laughs> not that bad, not that bad. Can we hit it this time? Yes, we can. I guess we'll go for Psycho Cut here. Hopefully we get a crit, and hopefully I don't think this is going to kill it. Yeah, definitely not. Good. It stayed asleep during this turn. If it can sleep through the next turn too, we'll be pretty good here. I hope this Quagsire is feeling pretty sleepy, because I really want to knock this thing out. Oh, it's waking up. Come on, buddy. Don't you need a few more turns of rest? Ugh. I'm not liking how much that Fire Pledge is doing to me right now, but luckily, this will take it out. Goodbye, Quagsire. That was annoying. Again, if we had Ginny in those Grass-type moves, this thing wouldn't be that bad. It wouldn't be that hard to deal with. But once again, we really need something on the team with Grass-type moves. Now, I think a Pokemon's gonna pop up as soon as we get out of the battle. Let's see, what? Oh, Charmander? Do we get Charmander? Yes! I think that's our encounter! Oh, this is so nice! We're going back to the Let's Go randomizer. Dooku is returning! I've got to give Charmander a different nickname if I catch it now. I can't name it Dooku like I did last time, but oh, I feel tempted to do that. Um, how should I weaken this thing? Quick Attack wouldn't kill it, right? Quick Attack's weak. I know Cho is strong, but Cho isn't going to one-shot a Charmander. Good, good, good. And it knows Flamethrower. Wow. That's a really strong fire move. So we'll have two really good fire types, assuming we could actually go ahead and catch this thing. 
I think I'll go here for another Great Ball. Let's catch all of our Fire-type Pokemon and Great Balls. Come on, get in that ball, Charmander. Be nice and easy, I really want ya. But you're gonna break out. You know what we can do? If it wants to be annoying, we could heal up Goyle, switch in and go for Hypnosis to put it to sleep, but before we do any of that stuff, I'm gonna try a few more balls. I feel like we can get this thing. If we could catch Cinderace with one ball, we... I guess we're gonna struggle against Charmander. Alright, well if it wants to be annoying, let's try this. We'll put it to sleep. Just hoping Goyle could come in and not take a lot of damage from this thing. Flamethrower, alright, that's the strongest attack it probably has. How much does that do to Goyle? Not... It's not terrible, but if we miss a Hypnosis, it might get annoying for us. So, come on, hip, hit the Hypnosis. Great job, great job. And now let's try a Great Ball. No, still gonna be tough. And waking up on the first turn, going for Flamethrower again. Wow, yeah, Goyle, we need the swap. I'm really afraid of hitting it with any other Pokemon on my team. The other thing I was thinking about doing was using Nuzzle on it, but I feel like Nuzzle, even though it's a very weak move, would do enough to kill it. If this thing wasn't on a sunny route, it would be so much better. I would be so much... I would not be as afraid of it as I am right now. It's just that Flamethrower, even though it's just a Charmander, does a lot of damage. Come on, another Great Ball. There we go. Got the Charmander. Wow. Alright, this Charmander is going to be known as Dumbledore. And that is so nice, getting a Charmander once again. The Charmander Dooku that I had in my Let's Go Randomizer, that one did so much work for me and brought me through the game so far, and there's another Blue Cinderace! This is really the episode of Blue Cinderaces. I guess Rhyperior is going to chase me out of that little area. I wanted to see what else was back there, but you know what? I think I'll save that for next time, episode 10. This episode, we did a lot. Caught some new Pokemon, but we also lost an amazing team member who is absolutely going to be missed. So my friends, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time in episode 10.